I'm Mary Schick, adult geriatric nurse practitioner and diabetes care and education specialist. Happy 2021 Go Red for Women. I've been asked to speak today on the connection between cardiovascular disease and diabetes. The sad truth is most people with diabetes die of a cardiovascular event or disease. The good news is there are a lot of things we can do to decrease this risk. First of all, we can control our blood pressure. Second of all, we can control our cholesterol levels. And third, we can control our blood sugars. And when we do these things, we decrease our, decrease our risk of cardiovascular disease. So when we think about blood pressure, we wanna shoot for a goal blood pressure of about 130 over 80 or lower. For some people that goal might be 140 over 90, but for the majority of us, it's gonna be a goal of 130 over 80 or less. So most important thing to reach that goal, best medicine is gonna be exercise. 150 minutes a week is ideal. After exercise, the next thing we can do is eat a healthy diet. Now those things are both hard to accomplish and that's why our Tribal Diabetes Education Program is here to help you. If you're struggling with your diet, struggling meeting your exercising goal, exercise goals, let us know. We're here to support you as you make these changes and incorporate this into your healthy lifestyle. So if you're succeeding at your healthy diet and you're succeeding at your exercise and your blood pressure is still 130 over 80 or higher, that's when you wanna meet with your provider and say, hey, my blood pressure, I've been checking it at home. It's not where it's supposed to be. Help me get this to goal. And they're gonna have a lot of tools they can use. There's a lot of great medications out there that when the body is not working right, those medicines can help the system work better. So again, manage that blood pressure. You're gonna decrease your risk of cardiovascular disease. Next step is those cholesterol levels. So we want that LDL cholesterol, low density lipoprotein cholesterol. When we have diabetes, we want that level to be 70 or lower. Our risk, just having diabetes, our risk for heart disease is so high that just based on having diabetes, it's recommended we start a medication called a statin because that's gonna decrease our risk of cardiovascular disease that much. After we've started the medication, the statin, then exercise and diet are still your best medicines. Again, 150 minutes of exercise a week, and then eating a diet that's high in fiber, 25 grams of fiber a day, um, full of healthy fats and avoid the processed foods, and we're gonna be in really good shape and it's gonna decrease our risk for cardiovascular disease. Again, these things are easily said and hard to follow through on a day-to-day -day basis, but that's what your healthcare team is for, is to help you meet those goals and it's a very doable thing, just a little elbow grease and time. The final thing are blood sugars and blood sugars for some people are very challenging to reach those blood sugar goals. If we can keep that hemoglobin A1C seven or lower and keep your morning fasting blood sugar 130 or lower, it's gonna make a big improvement in our cardiovascular disease risk. Not easy things to accomplish. Again, the diabetes care department is here to help you. Um, we've got dietitians, we've got nurses. We're here to help you come up with a plan. We're here to support you as you make your lifestyle changes. Um, but if we can meet all those goals, our risk of cardiovascular disease is significantly redu reduced and we're going to do well and live to be much healthier in our old age. Um, happy 2021. Happy Go Red for all. Um, let's decrease our cardiovascular risk.